everybody video here for you today this is a place i found last spring when i did a video on ancient jericho the history of this place goes back ten thousand years let's go down to israel today this is connected to the natufian people i've talked about them quite a bit but this is called Yiftahel, and it's right down here now i was only familiar with this name through reading it in my research on ancient jericho Took me a while to find where this place was located, but I did find some interesting things that were found here. The site was found in 1992 when the highway was put in. Excavation work, archeological work went on here up until 2008. They made some pretty interesting finds. Let's just show where these ancient ruins lay. I found a couple old pics that kind of tell the story here. Here's the area where the discovery was made about 28 years ago. The highway kind of covers this area today. Here is a pick where the different areas, different houses, different ruins were found, labeled with different letters there. Here is a very old pick of the area before the highway was put in. You get an overhead view of these house areas. There were some Bronze Age settlements and some pre-pottery Neolithic sites here. Here's an overhead look at one of these houses here in this settlement. You notice this area here. They had plastered floors, one estimate. 9,800 years old. Human occupation here goes back over 10,000 years. But they say these houses were put in in the 7,000 BCs, over 9,000 years ago. Here is a look at one of these plastered floors. Some people call this the oldest concrete used in the world. And here, I have talked about this at Jericho and other sites, and the Tufians put plaster on the skulls here. It's an interesting skull on the left. But here, three of them together, they put seashells in the eyes and adorn these and put plaster in, plaster on top of plaster in some cases. So these were around for a long time. They were venerated in some way. Three of them together, skulls that go back probably over 9,000 years here. Here are those three skulls after reconstruction and preservation processes at Yiftahel. That's a pretty interesting way to treat the dead. It seems like they were adorning skulls through the Natufian civilization through many periods of history in this part of the world. A lot of things were found here in a good state of preservation. They found a storage of 2,000 horse bean seeds. That kind of shows people were growing that 2,000 years earlier than previously thought, over 9,000 years ago. Now here's an article from concreteconstruction.net. I will leave this link below. How old is concrete? Before there was pottery or metal, there was concrete, and there is a pic from Yiftahel. It says, shown here are six concrete floors that were cast over time in one of the buildings by a pre-pottery Neolithic Part B culture. And that's what we call them because we don't know what they call themselves. We just give it that generic term by what was found and what wasn't found and what time period it was found in. And that's the best we can do. It says, this culture... 9,800 years ago, it's hoped that an examination of the concrete in each floor will reveal how their concrete technology developed over time. It says there is much talk about green sustainability these days for concrete. The key word is sustainability, which has to do with constructing slabs and structures with low carbon footprints. There are many ways to do this, but the best way is to use inherent qualities of material to provide longer life cycles. Replacement being the most energy intensive. How long can the service life of concrete be? How about 9,800 years? Here it shows a little bit of the concrete. It says this cross section of concrete from the site clearly shows the typical ingredients of concrete, large and small aggregate and cement paste. The small black marks indicate air voids. It says Yiftahel is located in northern Israel, about 15 miles east of Haifa and five miles west of Nazareth. The archaeological remains are embedded within the east bank of the Yiftahel Valley and are estimated to cover at least 7.4 acres. It says this particular site is likely the oldest permanent village ever found and it has a number of concrete floors. It says after years of debates about the site and the road system in the area, the Israel government decided that Yiftahel will be covered by the new construction of a high-speed interchange to alleviate congestion at the intersection of Highways 77 and 79. And this, this article is quite old, so that is what they decide to do, just build a road over this ancient site here.
Here it says the square excavations are each 16 by 16 feet and the 18 by 40 foot building footprint with parts of its floor shown is oriented in the direction of the North Star. Mixing and placing concrete to cover 720 square feet of floor is a major undertaking. It says the pre-pottery Neolithic Part B culture used rock and mud to construct walls and concrete for the floors. The buildings were rectangular and aligned to true north indicating that the inhabitants developed some knowledge of how to do layout work. Archaeologists found as many as six layers of floors, one on top of the next, providing the opportunity to find out how their technology developed. The floor finishes vary, indicating differences in ability. They may have even used large stones to polish floor surfaces. However, no evidence of tools they use exists. Careful laboratory examination of samples may explain how the floors were placed and finished. Even though there wasn't any stone tools directly related to the concrete work, here are some projectile points found at the site. But this place certainly was interesting to look into. Plastered skulls, cement floors, over 9,000 years old. Think about that, located under the highway project here. Going back that far in time, this article here goes into how difficult it would be to make concrete. It says in this article that this place was originally discovered in 1982. I guess a major excavation work didn't start until 1992. It says Garfinkel studied an 1180 square foot area referred to as structure 700. The floor was one and three sixteenths to two and three eighths inches thick and required seven tons of calcined limestone. This early work revealed highly organized technological society that developed an industry to produce the lime cement and to construct concrete floors. The following steps must have been, been developed and here they go over all the things required, planning the quantities, quarrying the limestone, transporting to the kiln site, crushing the raw limestone, gathering fuel, cutting to size, constructing the kiln, loading the kiln with limestone and fuel, burning the limestone to make the lime, but it goes over all these steps that would have been needed. People have always been pretty smart, and this site pretty much proves it. One pretty interesting article came out last week. Let's go down nearby to Teldor, right on the coast. Interesting article came out. What happened here during this pre-pottery Neolithic time? Here is a story that more than a few websites covered. It says, scientists uncover evidence of ancient tsunami in Israel. Here they did core drilling down about 30 feet produce evidence that a 150-foot tsunami rolled through here about 9,400 years ago. That's kind of the central time frame of their window here. That's pretty incredible. What could have caused that? Was it an impact event in the Mediterranean or an undersea earthquake or a major earthquake? But that is a major tsunami. Just reading a little bit from the article, it says, our project focuses on reconstructing ancient climate and environmental change over the past 12,000 years along the Israeli coast. And we never dreamed of finding evidence of a prehistoric tsunami in Israel. And here is a look on Google Earth at the area. It says, scholars know that at the beginning of the Neolithic, around 10,000 years ago, the seashore was four kilometers or about 2.5 miles from where it is today. When we cut the cores open in San Diego and started seeing a marine shell layer embedded in the dry Neolithic landscape, we knew we hit the jackpot. Here's an article from UC San Diego News Center. They were involved in the research. Massive tsunami hit Neolithic Middle East 9,000 plus years ago. Study may explain why previous archeological surveys have found no evidence until the late Neolithic for low-lying coastal villages at Tel Dor, Israel. And they think that cultures that may have been associated with Yiftahel around that same age might have been wiped out by this massive tsunami that hit here 9,000 plus years ago. Here are some of the shells and the sand sediment they excavated from this paleo tsunami. And it says in the article it created a 4,000 year archaeological gap in the record here. But reading the different articles for this, they estimate the wave height was between 50 and almost 150 feet high here at different areas then traveled over three kilometers or over a mile and a half inland. That must have been quite a sight. But let's go back to this article here. They do have a video attached. I will leave the link below if you want to check this out. They have a 3D model here. And it says one of those rare pottery Neolithic submerged sites was excavated 
at South Bay at Teldor. So there was an underwater site that was found and probably a few others wiped out by this massive event. These people are called the pre-pottery Neolithic culture. They are also called the Natufians in a lot of these settlements from this time period. And that is named after this site here, Wadi N. Natuf. That's where we get Natufians from. The Natufian culture was all the way through this area up to this place here, Abu Herrera. What happened there it was wiped out by an ancient impact event 12,800 years ago. And I think they were the ones or part of the people, part of the many cultures maybe that built the Gobekli Tepe right there. I just thought this was a good one to do today. The more I looked into this, the more fascinating it got. Concrete that goes back over 9,000 years. That's interesting enough by itself. But it seems people were living in settlements a long time before we really give them credit for. Organized cities, plastered skulls. What is that all about? Leave your comments below. Just a very interesting place to look into. Not much on YouTube on this site. Here's the location today where people over 9,000 years ago were making a form of concrete. I think that's a pretty fascinating story. Also, a tsunami that might have wiped out some people that were associated to this culture right down here, not too far away. That was a good one to do today, coming from this area of the world. Hope you thought that was interesting, and you all have a very nice day.